Now, Tanzania has one of the world's weakest healthcare systems, and many of the country's 48 million aren't getting basic medical needs met. The government is slowly uh, working to improve the country's medical care by reaching out to Tanzanians most affected by the lack of infrastructure, those living in outlying areas, and by supporting specialized medical training for doctors. In parts one and two of our series, we follow Tanzania's first pediatric heart surgeon as he trained abroad and returned to Tanzania to begin operating on young patients. In this third and final story, CCTV Stephanie Freed follows our doctor into surgery as he begins making a difference in Tanzania, one operation and one patient at a time. This is the day Dr. Godwin has anticipated for five years. Today, he embarks on a new life path, Tanzania's first and only pediatric heart surgeon. He has been specializing in pediatric cardiology in Israel for five years. And here, back home at Bugando Medical Center in Tanzania, he'll begin applying that training to real-life cases. But it's not going to be easy. They haven't arrived. And, okay, when are they supposed to be at work? 7.30. But okay, it's, it's almost 8. Where are they? Oh, we, we don't know. Management isn't the only obstacle facing Dr. Godwin. Tanzania has a 30,000 to 1 doctor-patient ratio, medical equipment is in short supply, and this major hospital doesn't have enough staff. Luckily, he has support. A team of 20 doctors, nurses, and surgical staff from Save a Child's Heart, the organization that sponsored his training in Israel, has traveled here to aid him as he performs his first surgeries. They've brought a ton and a half of medical equipment along, from monitors to suture scissors, and they'll leave it all behind when they depart in a week. As the doctor's ready for surgery, their first patient, five-year-old Esther, is prepped. Suffering from a congenital heart defect that causes abnormal blood flow, if her condition goes untreated, her health will gradually deteriorate and her life expectancy may be cut in half. Let's go. Scrubbed and prepped, they begin the procedure. According to World Health Organization figures, one out of every nine Tanzanian children won't make it to the age of five. Dr. Godwin has his work cut out for him. An estimated half a million young patients have been waiting for him to get back and start performing surgeries. The surgery goes smoothly, so much so that during this first heart procedure in Tanzania, Dr. Godwin is already mentoring a fellow surgeon. Two hours later, the prognosis is success. Godwin did the first uh, surgery today, and that gave him and the um, uh, team confidence that they can do it. I am very optimistic uh, in regard to the future here. Post-op, the physician's first priority is updating Esther's mother. I feel good because my daughter Esther is getting good care. After checking in on his first patient in the ICU, Dr. Godwin takes a moment to share his thoughts. We have so much limited resources here and uh, so many uh, staff really don't know uh, what they should be doing. Uh, and uh, where they should help, where they, where they should stay a little bit and watch and learn or something like this. So um, maybe we'll take what we learn in Israel and what we have and try to modify to get maybe something in the middle which will fit us both but also still be able to maintain the standard. Dr. Godwin will be setting the standard in Tanzania. A tremendous responsibility, he says, and a great honor. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Mwanza. Tanzania.